Hi everyone. I am Sandeep Sharma and I head retail sales at SBI Mutual Fund. So as you know that we are coming out with a new fund offer uh, by the name of SBI Balance Advantage Fund. Uh, you know in our industry Balance Advantage Fund have really caught fancy because of the simple reason that Balance Advantage Funds take takes care of the behavioral aspect of an investor. Usually investors come into the market when markets are going up and they get out of the markets when the markets are falling actually if you really want to create wealth for yourself you have to do the opposite of it and i think because of our behavioral wiring we are not able to do it naturally and that's where balance advantage funds come in and help you in terms of creation of wealth and protection of your capital when the markets are in deep drawdowns so the objective of sbi balance advantage fund is to provide an opportunity and option to an investor who is excessively worried about high valuations which are there in equity market by investing in balance advantage fund what an investor ensures is that the experts manage their equity debt and cash allocation depending upon the valuation of the market automatically without any hassle for the investor and therefore what we feel at this point in time where the markets are trading balance advantage fund is a very good option so as far as the investment strategy is concerned at sbi mutual fund we have developed an algorithm with the help of which we will measure the valuations of the market the sentiment which is prevailing in the market and then decide about the asset allocation across equity debt and cash once that is done you know after that we will try to look at what is actually happening in the market whether value is doing well or growth is doing well whether large caps are doing well or mid and small caps are doing well and after the assessment of the market then we will select the highest conviction stocks which our analysts have given us in the large cap space mid cap space and small cap space and then create a portfolio so as as this basically tells you it's a very dynamic way of managing the money that you give to us depending upon what is the valuation what is actually you know running in the market whether it is large caps are doing well mid caps are doing well and accordingly we will invest and create a portfolio on the debt side we want to be very very played very very safe because you know what we believe is that this is a product which you know continuously will move from equity debt cash uh, you know simultaneously and therefore you know we want to ensure that we have a liquid debt component in this particular product so therefore we will only invest in either triple a psu bonds or government securities in order to ensure that there is adequate liquidity on the debt portion of this fund so this uh, you know if you really ask me that who are the best uh, suited investor for this fund so when i look at the market i find two types of investor there is one type of an investor who probably has stayed invested in the market from march 2020 till now and he is sitting on huge gains and he is worried that markets may fall and his paper profits may evaporate so this kind of an investor probably can come into balance advantage fund what it will do for his portfolio is the risk of drawdown will reduce and at the same time he will not be sitting out of equity as an asset class there is a second category of investors who probably exited either in march 2020 or in the period in between you know there i know so many you know knowledgeable investor who exited at 11000 nifty 12000 nifty uh, thinking that markets have topped those investors also want to come back to the market and they are worried that markets are trading at high valuation so this category of investor also can probably come into a balance advantage fund and uh, you know uh, a balance advantage fund itself will ensure that uh, you know when they when the fund has to increase the equity allocation there is a third category of investor who probably are people who are very risk averse and most of their money is lying in fixed deposits now these these people probably are getting sub optimal returns on their fixed deposits both because of inflation as well as because of low interest rates so such investors 
can move a part of their fixed deposit money, uh, only a part of it, not completely. A part of this, uh, their fixed deposit portfolio can be moved, moved over here so that the overall yield of their portfolio increases. So what I believe is that these three category of investors can take benefit of SBI Balance Advantage Fund. Now let us talk about taxation. Now uh, we have got a mandate in this fund that we can go from zero to hundred percent in equity and zero to hundred percent in debt. But what our endeavor would be that in order to ensure that we have equity taxation, we will always have long equity plus arbitrage up to sixty-five percent in this fund, and therefore the taxation of this fund will be, uh, you know, equity taxation only. This fund will open for subscription on twelfth of August and it will close on 25th of August. We are going to allot the units under this fund on 31st of August. So we are looking forward for your support. We would request you to kindly invest in this fund and make use of the opportunity which SPI Mutual Fund is offering to you. This fund is also available on Grow platform and we will request all the listeners to go to the Grow app and, and you know, invest in this fund. Thank you very much for listening. Happy investing, stay safe. Thank you very much. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. Please read the risk disclosure documents carefully before investing in equity shares, derivatives, mutual fund, and all other instruments traded on the stock exchanges.